The Boeing Starliner's helium leak issue. Is it as bad as it sounds? Let's dive in and see what's really going on. First off, NASA and Boeing are gearing up for a major milestone, launching the Boeing Starliner on a historic crewed mission. This mission, known as the Crew Flight Test, CFT, is set to carry NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams to the International Space Station, ISS. But there's a catch. This much-anticipated launch is facing some serious challenges, and the date, tentatively set for June 1st, might not be set in stone. Why? Because of a pesky helium leak and a few other unresolved issues, Boeing's journey with the Starliner has been anything but smooth. The program kicked off back in 2014 when NASA contracted Boeing and SpaceX to develop commercial crew transportation services to the ISS. Since then, SpaceX's Crew Dragon has been flying missions successfully since 2020. Meanwhile, the Starliner is still grounded, struggling to get off the launch pad. Initially, Boeing expected to start crewed flights by 2017, but that goal has proven elusive. Let's rewind a bit to understand the Starliner has traveled. In 2019, the Starliner's uncrewed test flight didn't go as planned. A software glitch prevented it from reaching the ISS. Fast forward to 2022, and Boeing finally had a successful uncrewed test after a series of extensive fixes. So you might think the worst was behind them. Not quite. Enter the latest hurdle, a helium leak discovered after routine testing. Now, you might be wondering, why is a helium leak such a big deal? Helium is crucial for pressurizing the Starliner's propulsion system. A leak here isn't just a minor hiccup, it's a potential showstopper. Ensuring the integrity of these systems is critical for the safety of the astronauts and the success of the mission. Boeing is no stranger to setbacks with the Starliner. Each issue has required meticulous troubleshooting and fixes. The recent helium leak is another bump in this long, winding road. And it's not just about patching a leak. The team needs to ensure that every part of the spacecraft is mission ready. Safety, after all, is paramount. So what's next for Boeing and the Starliner? The current plan involves intensive testing and thorough inspections to fix the helium leak and address any other technical concerns. NASA and Boeing are working closely to resolve these issues, but it's a race against time. They want to stick to the June 1st target, but they're not going to cut corners. The mission will only go ahead when everything checks out perfectly. This cautious approach is understandable given the history of delays and setbacks. Boeing and NASA are determined to get it right this time. The goal is not just to launch, but to ensure a safe and successful mission that will restore confidence in the Starliner program. The success of Boeing Starliner is crucial for NASA's commercial crew program. Having multiple providers, Boeing and SpaceX, ensures redundancy and reliability for ferrying astronauts to and from the ISS. It's about maintaining a robust and flexible space transportation system. Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket. Although it's a separate story, it's part of the same competitive landscape. Blue Origin is also working towards launching its new rocket, adding more excitement and competition in the space industry. The helium leak, originating from a small area between two metal parts of a flange in a reaction control system, RCS thruster, initially started at 7 psi and increased to between 50 psi and 70 psi. While this might sound minor, it's a significant issue because it affects the pressurization needed for small maneuvers in orbit. This is crucial for the spacecraft's safety and reliability. NASA, Boeing, and Aerojet Rocketdyne engineers are on it, trying to understand the root cause of the leak and come up with solutions. They are considering around five potential fixes. One of the biggest challenges is helium's tiny molecular size, which makes it prone to leaks. It's a bit like trying to keep water in a bucket with a small hole. It's tricky to address to address this, NASA and Boeing have developed redundant methods for the spacecraft's deorbit burn. Instead of one long burn, they've split it into two 10-minute burns, spaced 80 minutes apart. This clever plan ensures redundancy, even if multiple thrusters fail. NASA has run simulations to test this scenario, ensuring the mission's safety and reliability. A Delta Flight Readiness Review is set for May 29th to evaluate the Starliner's readiness, especially focusing on the human certification adjustments necessitated by the leak. This review is critical for deciding whether the launch can proceed on June 1st or if more delays are needed. NASA and Boeing will update the public on May 30th about the outcomes of these assessments and any adjustments to the launch schedule. The June 1st launch date is not set in stone. Back updates include June 2nd, June 5th, and June 6th, 
among other early summer dates. While Starliner's stability can extend beyond these dates, the Atlas V rocket components have parts expiring in June and July, adding pressure to avoid prolonged delays. Plus, the ISS schedule needs careful coordination, as Starliner can only dock at a specific port on the Harmony module, which must be available and not occupied by other spacecraft like SpaceX's. Now, you might be wondering why this helium leak is causing such a fuss. It's because space missions demand absolute precision and reliability. Even minor issues can escalate into major problems in the harsh environment of space. NASA and Boeing are leaving no stone unturned to ensure the Starliner is fully prepped for its mission. The importance of getting this right cannot be overstated. The success of Boeing's Starliner is crucial for NASA's commercial crew program. Having both Boeing and SpaceX providing crew transportation ensures redundancy and reliability for missions to the ISS. It's all about having a robust, flexible space transportation system that can meet the needs of current and future space exploration. Despite these setbacks, the upcoming crew flight test, CFT, is a significant milestone for Boeing's commercial crew program. Success in this mission would validate years of development and testing, potentially paving the way for regular crewed missions. It's not just about getting astronauts to space, it's about proving that Starliner can be a dependable option for ISS crew transport alongside SpaceX's Crew Dragon. The importance of this mission extends beyond Boeing and NASA. The success of the Starliner program is crucial for NASA's broader goals of commercializing low Earth orbit transportation. As the space agency looks to expand its presence in space, reliable and efficient transportation services will be vital in supporting future missions. Boeing has poured extensive resources into developing the Starliner, conducting rigorous testing and validation. This includes a series of abort tests and uncrewed flights. The spacecraft is designed to carry up to seven astronauts and is equipped with advanced life support systems, navigation and communication equipment. The crew flight test will demonstrate Starliner's ability to safely transport astronauts to and from the ISS, marking a crucial step toward its certification. The Starliner program has faced significant challenges, including the loss of a spacecraft during a ground test in 2019. Each setback has been a learning opportunity, prompting Boeing to implement corrective actions to enhance the safety and reliability of the spacecraft. The recent helium leak, discovered after routine testing, is another obstacle to overcome. This leak, originating from a small area between two metal parts of a flange in a reaction control system, RCS thruster, is more than a minor inconvenience. It affects the pressurization necessary for small maneuvers in orbit, which is critical for the spacecraft's operation. NASA, Boeing, and Aerojet Rocketdyne engineers are working tirelessly to understand the cause of the leak and devise solutions. They are evaluating around five potential fixes, but helium's small molecular size makes it notoriously prone to leaks. To mitigate potential issues from the helium leak, NASA and Boeing have devised redundant methods for the spacecraft's deorbit burn, splitting it into two 10-minute burns spaced 80 minutes apart. This plan restores redundancy, even if multiple thrusters fail, ensuring the mission's safety and reliability. A Delta Flight Readiness Review is scheduled for May 29 to assess Starliner's readiness, with a particular focus on the human certification adjustments necessitated by the leak. This review will be crucial in deciding whether the launch can proceed on June 1st or if further delays are needed. The public will get an update from NASA and Boeing on May 30th about the outcomes of these assessments and any adjustments to the launch schedule. The June 1st launch date is not guaranteed, with backup dates set for June 2nd, June 5th and June 6th, among others in early summer. While Starliner's stability extends beyond these dates, parts of the Atlas V rocket have expiration dates in June and July, adding pressure to avoid prolonged delays. Moreover, the ISS schedule requires coordination, as Starliner can only dock at a specific port on the Harmony module, which must be available and not occupied by other spacecraft like SpaceX's. Success in the upcoming crew flight test will be critical for establishing Starliner as a viable option for ISS crew transport. This mission's success would validate years of development and testing, marking a significant achievement for Boeing and fulfilling NASA's goals of commercializing low-Earth orbit transportation. As NASA NASA looks to expand its presence in space. Reliable and efficient transportation services like those provided by Boeing Starliner and SpaceX's Crew Dragon will play a vital role in supporting future missions. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.
please like the video, press the subscribe button, and also drop your thoughts in the comment section.